Hey guys, welcome to the Legend of Grimrock 2. Now, as you saw in the last episode, I got absolutely hammered going in into the uh, the Herder's Den. So I'm going to try something different in this episode. Now, for starters, um, I've figured out that there is a little bit of a, a um, something we can do over here. Let's just make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, it is over here. Um, now, as I said before, getting to this central island, I wasn't sure how to do it, but um, I've worked out that there is a little bush here that we can um, smash through. Let me just see if I can shoot that down. Is that... Um there we go. That should do. I think I've gotten rid of it now. Um, we're going to throw a knife over there. Um, it should hit a hit a pressure plate, so let's see if this works. There we go. Okay, so we've got the pressure plate um, working, and let's open up a teleporter here, and that's actually going to bring us to the uh, the centre of the island here, uh, which is pretty cool. So we can grab this dagger back if we'd like. So I'll just grab onto that, and I think there's nothing else here except for this uh, this shaman's cloak. Now the Shaman's Cloak is pretty cool, it gives you plus 30 energy um, at the cost of minus 2 evasion, but I think it's worth it for uh, all of that extra extra energy there. Now the other thing is, um, I am carrying a lot of things which is a little bit of a worry, so let's see if I can eat this, there we go. Uh, I think what I might do is actually put all of these things in the central hub, everything that uh, I'm not going to use. I might just stick in the central hub. So the good thing about this game is that when you do put things on the ground, they stay there forever. They don't despawn or anything like that. So you can always come back and grab your items um, that you leave behind. So I'm actually just going to head up to, uh, we'll go to Sleet Island, I think. That's kind of the next place to, uh, to have a look at. And I'm going to have to leave the Herder's Den for a little bit later when my guys are a little bit tougher. Um, let me just see the best way through here. Now, I think I did pick up... Um, yeah, I did pick up a lockpick. So, as you can see in the map here, um, we've got a few chests that we can have a look at. There's one down here. And there's one up there, and there's one over there by the Shrine of Pain. And I think I might actually go to the the Shrine of Pain. Um, that was the most difficult um, place to get to, the most difficult secret. So I'll go up there and we'll open that one and see what's inside. I am kind of assuming that if it's the most difficult secret to find, then it will be the, the best... Oh, here we go, the hub. So let, let me um, just put a few things away first, um, down in this hub. Um, can I click on these and get these working or not? Hamlet of Storm Breach. We only have the Shipwreck Beach. Now I have been to Killbreach Bog, but this one isn't opened yet, so I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, so what I might do is grab Scroll of Force Field. Grab the scrolls that I don't need. Um, things I'm not going to not going to use. I can leave them here. Um, probably not going to use these darts. Oops. Um, a rapier. Probably gonna, not going to use the rapier either. I and mean, I won't use the baton. Um, I, I might use the throwing knives. And I'm not going to use the sling either. So I'll just throw those over there. Just to lighten this guy's load a little bit. Um, we do have some recipes. I know that recipe. And I might keep that one because I'm actually... Maybe one I want to use a little bit later. Etherweed and Mudwort Shield Potion. That might be something good to make when we get um, into tricky situations. So I'll leave the rest of that stuff there. Um, now we've got the heavy weapons. Um, now this one ignores five points of enemy's armor, which is really cool. I may actually um, get Brutus beefed up in heavy weapons a little bit later, um, but right now um, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll keep him up with the, the light weapons. Um, I think that's all for, for Brutus. He does have a whole stack of food here. 
Um, so I'll just let him hang on to that. And he's got another bag, another bag of food as well. Um, I wonder if I should... I wonder if I should leave a crate of food here. I've just got... It looks like I've just got so much food. Um, this guy's got a whole stack of torches as well. So what I might do is actually leave a couple of torches here. Um, one, two, three. And hopefully we won't need um, that many. Scroll of poison cloud, scroll of fire burst. Let's see where are these scrolls. It's going to put these scrolls down here. I don't need those. Um, scroll of poison bolt. Scroll of shield. Scroll of poison. Poison shield. Interesting. Okay, so um, let's just put these in here. Now we do have the. Might as well take the letters with us. I mean, they're not uh, not very heavy. 0.1 kilograms. Um, a few letters there, so that's cool. Um, the round shield I probably don't need either. So I'm going to put the defensive weapons. Um, just going to put the defensive weapons there. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got more notes. Let's give the notes to this dude and you can just stick them in his inventory there. Um, just for safekeeping. Ancient helm, heavy armor. Um, this guy's definitely not going to get heavy armor anytime soon, so let's put away some of these things here. Um, we can put Scroll of Shock, Scroll of Invisibility. Oh wow, okay. Oh, that'd be a great one for the den. Scroll of Invisibility. That would be a perfect um, spell for the Herder's Den. Why didn't I think about that? Scroll of Ice Shards as well. Um, so let's, let's just put a little bit of food in here, clear up the inventory a little bit, give him a couple of bits there to keep him happy. And we have the Skull Cleave as well, which is a heavy weapon. Now, this guy's not going to use heavy weapons, so let's stick the heavy weapons over there. Um, there we go. I think we're pretty good now. We should be... We should be good. What, what have we got? Crossbow barrels. This guy's got a whole stack of food and lots of bombs there, which is fine, I think. I think I think we're doing all right. Okay, so let's head out. Um, let's head back up here. We're going to open up that lock. Oh, I feel much lighter now, clearing out my inventory. And there's... Just going to make our way across this bridge. And we should... We should find the Shrine of Pain just across uh, this river here. Yeah, you can hear it already. You can hear those nasty spikes. Let's go around the back and um, don't want to go through it again. But we should be able to get through here fairly easily. Alright, that's it. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Okay, we should be able to open this. Let's grab the lockpick. And what have we got inside? We've got a big bear hand. Oh, bear claw gauntlets. Awesome. And a shield potion. Well, I'll give that to Brutus as well. Um, let's have a look at this bear claw. Bear claw gauntlets. Strength plus four. These powerful enchanted gauntlets are rumored to be made from the severed paws of a polymorphed bear of a polymorphed bear cult shaman. Interesting. Okay, let's give these uh, bear claw gauntlets to Brutus. He's going to have to um, put away his reed gauntlets, which are protection plus four. So he's lost a bit of protection there, um, but he has gained strength. And I'll give these to the uh, battle mage Jimbo and the rattling can have just the regular le leather gloves there. Um, now what I might do is actually give this tribal mask to the lizard over here. He gets uh, plus five energy so we'll do that and uh, beef him up a little bit in his energy. Um, quick get out of here. Alright we're out. Okay, I think we're ready to go to have a look at uh, Sleet Island. Um, so here we are, let's save the game. Okay, so we're heading off to Sleet Island in the north here. I feel like we've just um, had to do a bit of 
bit of housekeeping there, <laughs> clearing out my inventory. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, anything interesting here? Hopefully I'll find some more lockpicks along the way. I, I definitely need to find a few more lockpicks. There's a funny face on the wall over there. And we have... Anything else around here? We've got a rock. Oh, finally a rock. I've been looking for rocks all over the place and I haven't, uh, haven't found any. Finally a rock. Um, I am the guardian of the bridge. Wake me up. Um, well, we can... Should we throw something at him? There we go. That worked. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Wrong button. Okay, so we've got a, a kind of a magical magical bridge here, which is pretty cool. Like a force field. Just going to run across, grab this uh, etherweed. Give it to, to Rastan, who is our... He's our alchemist. He's not really... What's what's in here? He's not really an alchemist, but he does have the skill. Meditation Spire. You know what? Let's go back to the Sleet Island and, and clear out that space first. Um, we do have the Runes of Deserune over there. Um, but I'm just going to get too, too confused if I keep running around all over the place and opening up different areas and not completing them. Now, I think we have to come through here from the other side because the switch is over there so I think I'm just going to wait to uh, to see if we can actually open that from the other side here okay it looks like that is as far as we can go around this side here I can't jump into, into the water though so maybe I should save the game and have a little bit of a look um, underwater Okay, so let's have a quick look inside here. What have we got? What's this? Anything there? Anything here? I uh, can't see anything at the moment. Just going to take a breath. Um, just head up here. I can't stay too long. Oh, there's a merman there. Can't stay too long underwater and can't see anything at the moment. Is there a ladder there? No. All right, I gotta get back. Quick, quick, quick. Oh gosh. Get back, get back. No, no, no. Whew. Okay. Oops. Um. So there are mermen over there, which is interesting. Let me just go for one more dip. See if there is anything over here worth looking at. Um, can't see much down here except for a little bit of other weed. Oh no, where's the ladder? Ah, oh, gosh. My guys are going to start drowning. There, where's the ladder gone? There we go. Okay. All right, that's enough um, running around in the water. Let's continue on on land. I just wanted to see if there's anything kind of interesting that I could find down there. There may be something over here. There's, there is quite a lot of water here, so I'm sure there's something something down there to look at, but I might explore that a little bit later. Now, I think that's the entrance there from the south. Um, that's the water entrance. Oh, we have another... We, ha we do have another ladder here. Um, my guys do need to have a bit of a sleep though, so let's go for a bit of a... have a bit of a snooze. And, um... Ooh, it's daytime. That's better. That's much better. Um, so we can have a bit of a dip down here. Oh, we got something. Hold your breath. Hold my breath. Don't tell me to stay here. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Open, buddy. Oh, this is not good. No, no. Oh. I can't hold my breath for that long, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, okay, let's put a little marker over there. Hold your breath. I don't know how long you have to hold your breath for. Um, I think once my guys um, gain a few, a few levels, they'll have more energy, so they'll be able to survive a bit longer underwater um, at the moment. They're not surviving that, that long, so... 
Um, yeah, let's... There's another ladder down there as well. It'd be good if you could actually see what's under there. Oh, you can kind of see what's under there from up here. So that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's... Ah! Oh my god. Oh no, Rastan's dead. Oh, sorry, not Rastan. Oh my goodness. Um. At least we got a new gun out of it, but that... Oh gosh. Quick, quick, quick. Healing potion. Oh no. Ah, oh, it's up to you, Jimbo. Come on, ah, uh, sorry, Brutus. Come on, Brutus. It's up to you, mate. Oh, there's another one. There's another two. Need to get some light in here if I can. Oh, no! Ah, oh, game over. Ah, oh, I just was not prepared for that. There we go. Okay, that's good. Good enough. Alright, so... Oops. Let's just get some spells ready here. Um, I think we should be able to do this one, but what I want to do is... I wonder how long this takes to use. I want to give the shield potion to this guy here. Um, Alright, bang. Oops. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, beautiful. Oh, what happened there? Misfire. Okay, healing potion. I love the way they slap. <laughs> they just slap. It's just hilarious. <laughs> he's he's trying, to, trying to slap us to death. Um, yeah, we did it. We did it. Beautiful. So... Um, is there anything else in here? Just have a look for any secrets around here. Can't see any secrets, I think. I think it's just a trap, basically. So, let's have check out this gun. We've got the Arquebus. Range 3, damage 17 to 52. This large rifle packs enough punch to blast a hole through the hull of a rattling caravel. Awesome! <laughs> And that's it. Where where are we actually? We're in the flooded dungeon. Okay. Whew. Okay, we've got a nice new gun for our effort. Mind and matter. Okay, mind and matter. Let's go through here. Looks like we're going to have another puzzle. Um, another uh, another block puzzle. Okay, so we need to activate this somehow. Um, there should be a button or a switch somewhere to activate. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we need to get some of them onto the orange markers here. Um, so, what I'm going to have to do is see if I can get around there somehow. Uh, okay, can't get around. Um, what have we got here? A leather cap. Does anyone need a leather cap? I think I'm... Protection plus four. Let's give him the leather cap there, shall we? Um, okay, so what we're going to have to do, I think, is actually push this through here. There we go. Let's 
see if we can get around. Keeping an eye out for secret buttons. There we go. Aha. Beautiful. Okay, so we should be able to push that one through. And we've got another crate here as well, which is great. Uh, what's in this one? Um, cool, looks like we've got some more food. And a recipe. A rage potion. One blood drop cap and one falcon scry. Requires alchemy level 4. Alright, that's your job, Raston. You're going to have to uh, make, work your way up to, uh, to alchemy level 4 for that one. Aha, some more lockpicks, beautiful. Whew, I've been waiting, f waiting for lockpicks for a long time, and uh, finally we found some. Guess let's push this back through and see what happens. Um, there we go. I think that's that should. Oh, how do we get out here? Um, Aha, uh -huh. okay. How do I open that gate? Don't know how to open that gate. Maybe if I push that through, it will let me through here. Um, I've cleared up the path anyway, so let's see if this actually works. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so not too tricky, a little bit complicated, but. This puzzle is as good as done, I think. There we go, there's one. Now we need to grab the other guy, the other one. Oh, hang on a minute, how do we get... There we go. Okay. A lot of running around, but um, it's probably better than being attacked by things. That's for sure. Okay, there we go, we've done it. We can get through here now, so we're going to continue on our way around the, uh, the Sleet Island here, and I might as well save it, save my progress. I'm just wondering if this is the next temple over here. There is some structure over here to our right. Uh, not exactly sure what that is. Um, let's check out this sign here. Danger. With a pressure plate. Do you think it's a warning? Danger with a pressure plate. Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. Check out this dude. Check out... Do I have room to run around here? I do have room to run around. Okay, beautiful. Come on, buddy. Kaboom. Oh, gosh. Oh my goodness. Hit him for one. I wonder what his weakness is. He's, he's made of rock. Uh, poison maybe? I'm gonna hit him with a... Uh, oh gosh, 47. I'm gonna hit him with a poison blade. And pretty cool, hit him for one. Oh gosh, we can't really hit... Oh, there we go. Bridge the Barbarian gained a level, Rastan gained a level. Awesome. And Rastan gained Dexterity plus one. Oh no, there's another guy. No, run, run, run. Run, run, run. Get out of here. Oh gosh, is he just going to keep coming or what? Um, actually, can I close this gate? There we go. coming, isn't he? I hear him coming. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, um, so let's let's level up first and see what we see what we're going to get. Brutus is uh, level six, um, so we can level him up in armor and hopefully get him up to uh, heavy armor proficiency. Um, I could move him on to heavy weapons. I might actually beef him up with the the light. We should do armor. Now I'm gonna do armor actually. Can I take that one off? No, clear that. 
we're going to beef him up with armor so that he can actually wear the, uh, the heavy armor there. Um, now, Rastin has leveled up as well. Um, we could continue with the firearms, or we could give him missile weapons. He is actually using a bow at the moment, so that would be pretty cool. Or alchemy level 2, so that he can brew shield potions. That would be pretty cool as well. Um, or critical as well. Um, let's go with... We're going to go with critical, actually. And lastly, we have Lissa, who's just... Um, beefed up his fire magic to full. So we could go from, uh, let's see, I think concentration. Let's give him concentration. Okay, beautiful. Whew. So we're going to have a little bit of a sleep and then we're going to take on this second uh, rock troll or whatever he is.